In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the pooled standard error, the difference between related means formula that I have in the textbook to help unpack the nature of an interaction. In the textbook, I mentioned that for the factorial between subjects ANOVA, the Cohen's D interpretation of an interaction is conceptually accurate and a good way to start things. But once we get into the within subjects design, it's probably best to move to an accurate T value difference with respect to interpreting an interaction. So the formula here for the standard error of the difference between related means that's a pooled standard error is based on the mean square error that you can derive from the interaction term in the within subjects factorial ANOVA. So in this table here, tests of within subjects effects where you have the main effect, plants, main effect, cleanliness, and then plants by cleanliness interaction, which was significant. This is the mean square error term that I used to input into the formula. That goes right here. Now the sample size is in the denominator, so it's sample size divided by 2. So then you divide these two terms together, and you get the square root. Now this is equal to the total sample size, 251 from memory in this study. So yes, in fact, here we go, 251. So 0 0.973, which I got from right here, the mean square error, mean square associated with the interaction error term, and 251 divided by 2. And that gives me a pooled standard error of 0 0.088. Now with that pooled standard error, the difference between related means, I can then calculate pooled standard error, the difference t values, which are simple main effects. And I'm interested in the interaction here, not interpreting a main effect, because I'm going to show you that the difference between the t values is what relates to the interaction here. Instead of saying it's the difference in the Cohen's d estimates associated with the isolated comparisons, it's really the difference in the t values isolated across each level of the independent variable with which there's an interaction. So in this case here, I've inputted the 0 0.088 into the denominator associated with this particular simple main effect, 6.908 minus 5.932, which corresponds to the comparison of six plants tidy and no plants tidy. So this is plants tidy versus no plants tidy. And then the next comparison for the simple main effect is 4.418 and I got that number right here, plants untidy. This is all rounded to two decimal places so it's not exactly the same. And 3.960. So pl no plants untidy, 3.960. And when I divided those differences between the means, I got these T values, 11.091 and 5.205. And what the interaction is saying is that the magnitude of the difference in the T values is statistically significant. So this T value is statistically significantly larger than this T value. So if from an interpretation perspective, the difference between plants tidy and no plants tidy is statistically significantly larger than the comparison associated with plants untidy and no plants untidy. So that is the use of this pooled standard error of the difference in related means formula that I have in the textbook.